Hello guys. In this video, I will just give you the introduction on statistics and what all topics I will be covering and what all comprises as statistics. Okay. So what do we mean by statistics? So it's just collection of data, organizing it, analyze it, interpret it and present the insights out of it. Right. So that's the general and short definition of statistics. This statistics is divided into two parts. One is descriptive statistics, another one is inferential statistics. Okay. Within descriptive statistics, we actually generate a summary on given data. What kind of summary? Uh, it's usually will be the measure of central tendency or we also call it as location estimate. And what are the things we use in this? We use mean, median, mode, standard deviation, variance, mean absolute deviation, many other things, right? But for basic statistics and with respect to data science, these things should be good enough, okay? Now, apart from this, we also make use of something called as five number summary and we also make use of some graphs so that we can describe the data in an efficient way. So this descriptive statistics mainly deals with describing the given data. Describing the given data. Okay. When it comes to inferential statistics, the focus is on inferring something on the given data so that we can conclude or predict something on the entire population. Right. So whatever data we will have in our at our hand, it will be called as a sample data. Okay. And using that sample data, we will conclude or predict something on the population data by inferring something on the sample data. Right. So that's what I have written here. This is what we call it as inferential statistics. We infer something on the given data and we conclude something on the entire population data. So just think it this way. So generally, whenever there are elections conducted, right, we get something called as exit polls. So India is a country with 144 population and we cannot go to each individual and do the survey. So that's impossible, right? So for any surveying agency, that's impossible task. So what they do, they will take some sample. So let's say they consult around 1 lakh, 2 lakh people or 3 lakh people. Let's say even 1 crore people out of 140 crores. So that 1 crore or 1 lakh will be called as a sample data. And based on whatever the feedback is, we predict which party will be winning this particular election. So that's what is inferential statistics is about. And what all we will study in that? We will study something called as hypothesis testing. Within this, we will have something called as null hypothesis and alternate hypothesis. We will study something called as confidence intervals. We will uh, learn about statistical tests. There are many tests, Z test, T tests, uh, chi square test, many other tests, right? And we'll also learn about Bayesian statistics, etc. So this is about inferential statistics, right? Hope this particular segmentation is clear for you guys. Now coming to data. So whatever we talked right now, everything will be on some data, right? And how the data should be? We need to understand the types of data for that. So there are broadly speaking two types of data, right? One is categorical data. We also call it as qualitative data. Other category is numerical data or quantitative data. So these are the two categories, two types of data, categorical and numerical. Within categorical, we have something called as nominal and ordinal. And within numerical, we have discrete and continuous. So just by the name of it, you can get to know what is categorical and what is numerical, right? So numerical means we will deal with numbers here. Categorical means we will deal anything other than numbers. Other than numbers. Okay. So coming to nominal data within categorical, there are two types again, nominal and ordinal, right? So what is nominal data? So nominal data is something in which the order doesn't matter. So for example, if we are talking about gender, so it will be either male or female, right? 
or if we are talking about place of birth so it will be just the name of the village town or city that the child has taken birth right so again here order doesn't matter right so these type of categorical data will be called as nominal data okay now there is another type of categorical data called as ordinal data in this type of data the order actually matters so examples grades from arranging the grades from highest to lowest let's say uh, we are grading the students based on their performance let's say a grade will be highest b grade will be next to a c will be poor performance so if we have to arrange the students based on the performance in ascending or descending order we have to write it like this a b c so in this case the order matters order matters so th these ki these kind of data sets will be classified as ordinal data sets under categorical or qualitative data okay this is about categorical data now we will understand what numerical data are right so within numerical data there are two sub categories one is discrete and second is continuous so this is first type and this is second type okay now what are discrete numerical datas so these are strictly integers these are strictly integers okay discrete data will always be integers they cannot be whole numbers or any other numbers other than integer they cannot be okay so that thing you have to remember so what are some examples of discrete data let's say number of members in the family so it has to be a integer right it has to be a whole number so 1 2 3 4 right so we are a family of 4 we are a family of 3 so those are discrete values right we cannot say there are 3.5 members in our family right so that's what the example of discrete is and also another example could be the number of bank accounts that we hold another simple example would be how many number of subscribers we have in any youtube channel how many number of likes or comments any particular video is getting so these are all the examples of discrete data what are some examples of continuous data it can be a height of a person weight of a uh, person interest rates on bank accounts right so these all will be classified as continuous numerical variables okay so this is it for this video just a gentle introduction to statistics in my next video i will talk in depth on descriptive statistics right descriptive statistics and uh, mainly on measure of central tendency measure of central tendency so what all topics we will cover in this we will cover mean median mode variance standard deviation and there is something called as mean absolute deviation instead of variance there is something called as i'll just say 4.1 here mean absolute deviation okay so we will cover these topics in my next video so if you guys have any questions or if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do subscribe and if you are liking the content please give it a thumbs up okay so till we see in the next video happy learning bye bye